So it's the middle of December and it's actually a little bit warm, so I'm doing another quick outside project. Keep the stone wall project moving. About halfway down the wall, I've got room for a big post light base. So got the concrete set there, I'm gonna do some brick on top, uh, and I'm gonna do a little hanging sign on top, probably. That's why the base is big, it's gonna be cantilevered and I don't want it to lean or settle. But down here, where I wanted to run some electrical further down, there is just stone. Uh, the wall is incorporated right into the ledge, so all of this material is ledge and there is nowhere to put uh, a post light base or a post base. So I'm going to drill some holes right in the stone, uh, drop some rebar in it, and then I can attach the post light base to it, or the post base to it. It's not going to be a post light, just a, a little short post, hold the box for some Christmas decorations or whatever else I want down here. So I did something very similar a couple years ago. I uh, set this post on a piece of rebar in, uh, in an old stump, and it is quite solid. So solid enough that uh, no bird is ever gonna have any issue with it. Um, so we're just gonna see if I can replicate that down over on the stone wall. Tools I'm using today are a uh, Milwaukee SDS Max hammer drill, uh, SDS Max to SDS Plus uh, bit, and then a uh, just a 916 drill bit, which is the perfect diameter for the rebar that I have. So I'm going to get this all greased up and then take it outside and drill the hole. I'm certain there's a better way to cut rebar, but I don't do it often, so hacksaw it is. So I got my two holes drilled and roughly cleaned out right there. Uh, whenever I was using the deck pan to split the rock, I would always flush it with water and then blow it out with an airline, make sure everything was good and clean. I don't know that that was necessary, but it certainly seemed to help. And I had to use much bigger diameter drill bits. So three bars like 9 16 and I think I used inch and a half holes for the deck pan. Yeah, I thought about setting these in epoxy or something, but they don't really move. And with two, I don't think I'm going to have an issue either. Because I am going to uh, put two holes in the bottom of the post so it can't twist. All right, so I'm going to drill some matching holes in the end of the post. And that will uh, hopefully accept the rebar. Two holes. See if it fits. So one thing I do want to do is shorten it, because it is much taller than I think I would like. So there's already a piece of tape on there. I think that's going to be my reference mark. So my saw is not going to go all the way through, so I will probably just start the cut and then finish it with a hand saw.
and I got a dead battery anyways. So it sounds like that was the right plan. Last thing to do will be prep the post cover. Before getting All right, here for the final fit, and then put my box on. Base cap doesn't fit, but that's all right. I'm just gonna run a quick file around the corners, give it a little clearance and then uh, keep going. All right, after a lot of filing, I managed to get that to fit. I was not expecting to have to work it that much. I probably got the wrong base, but. So that's pretty much a wrap for this one. The one thing I would like to do is uh, add a half inch clamp at the bottom of this so it's not supported just off the bottom of the box. Uh, and I can still raise that uh, trim piece at the bottom once I get the fill where I want it. But it looks pretty good there. Hides the electrical box from the road and that brings power a lot further down towards the road. So I can do Christmas decorations and that kind of stuff. I'm really hoping to do some lit uh, spotlights or floodlights or not floodlights just little landscape lights in front of these uh, stone walls here I think that would add a lot to the character of the house uh, and plus Christmas decorations get easier and easier every year that is the goal is every yearly task should get a little easier every year and then down here uh, I gotta do the brick base on this one before I'll put the post on top and that base is going to match this one. So this is the base I did uh, seven or eight years ago for my post light. And uh, I'm just going to get a nice little sign hang off the side. I think that's what I decided for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. If you, uh, if you learned something or liked it, leave a comment. I'd appreciate that. Feedback is always welcome. And uh, have a great day, guys.